All right, a hey, Shalom Makyam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simo, Indians, West Indians, and Haitians, and according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, our respect to all the Akim out there pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the confusion of faces. Shalom to the few sisters out there that's wholeheartedly submitting her, their selves on the Yah by Shimia What you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Shai, and the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, the one ignorantly called God or Jehovah. Okay, coming back here to another lesson. I'm going to show this little image real quick. So, therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, says Christ there, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So, today's lesson is going to be about um, Psalms 119 and 9. How can a young man cleanse his way? Because, um, Majority of us, when we came into this knowledge, we were young men. And um, and before we found this truth through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and saw our teachers, we were of the world. We had a worldly mind state of dealing with things. We were liars, thieves, adulterers, whatever you was doing. You had you had a lot of spirits on you, had a lot of demons. So now when you found this truth, you have to practice. What's in that book to clean your way to be found holy in the sight of the Lord? So that's what I want to base this this all uh, this lesson is about putting off that old man, and that takes discipline. That takes discipline, man. Okay, it takes a lot of uh, maintenance within yourself to put off that old man to carry yourself of a man of of integrity, a man of dignity. Lord willing, men of the Lord. All right? Because that old man, is that old spirit that you had in the world, you're not going to make it, man. If you continue in your lying, your deception, your grudging, if you're still an adulterer, whatever you're doing, the Lord is going to cast you down. Okay? So you have to become a new creature, man. You have to renew yourself in this truth. All right? And that's a very valuable thing to do. All right? Okay, so I'm going to start off with Psalms 119 real quick. And Lord willing, this edify a lesson unto the very elect who is meant to reach us shall reach. Psalms 119, I'm going to start, I'm start at verse 1. It says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the walk in the law of the Most High. So yes, you're supposed to keep the laws. But you cannot keep all the laws here in Babylon. All right, we don't have a temple. We, you know, we, we're totally messed up. So we are rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Okay, so that's how you cleanse your ways, man. Keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies, that seek him with a whole heart. The heart is dealing with your mind. This, this is a daily thing, constant basis, man. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways and walking in his ways, teaching the right doctrine, being a brother and, and tearing down that old man. The, the, the ways he used to be in the world. All right. You got to break that man down, man. All right. And if the Lord, if you are a, a prince of the power, the Lord is going to chastise you to break that old man down as well. Through different trials and tribulations. Yeah, the Heavenly Father knows how to humble a hard-headed Negro, okay? Or a Latino Native American. He knows how to humble you, man. And if he give, give these, these uh, trials and tribulations unto you and you harden your heart, then you are a reprobate. He doesn't want you. And that's a scary thing. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precept diligently. This is a diligent thing. You got to suppress your, your your emotions and think about the scriptures and to the best of your ability in whatever situation, man. All right, this is a diligent thing. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep 
thy statutes. Our ways are directed to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay, and we're going to have that capabilities in the kingdom because we have new bodies and we're going to be able to keep that perfectly. We're not going to go off. So right now is a battle. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. And that's what we're doing right now. We praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We learn the righteous judgments. We learn our history. We learn about prophecy. We learn about our power, man. The real God of the, is the God of the Israelites, man. Taking it out of that movie script, The Mist. And that's facts. No other God out here matters. There's no other power but Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. I will keep thy statues or forsake, or forsake me not utterly. And that's the mind state you want to have. You want to beg the Lord not to forsake you, the brethren, your household, your wife, your children. You don't want that, man. Because we are at the end of this thing. Once they are in, into Iran, the war of Armageddon, the RFID chip, pestilence, it's going to come like a domino effect, back-to-back -back calamities. Because the Lord is not going to take long to destroy this place, man. In one hour, America is going to come to naught. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? And thus being young men, when you come into this knowledge, you're supposed to cleanse your ways. You're supposed to have respect. Respect is, takes you a long way in this truth. Respect the apostles and elders and treat them as fathers. Respect the brothers as over you in your camps. Respect the young men that's underneath you in your camps. All right. Okay. Love the most high with all thy heart, with all thy soul. Be um. You're not supposed to um commit adultery. You're not supposed to kill. You're not supposed to steal. You're not supposed to lie on your brother. Things of that nature. Love thy neighbor as thyself. All right. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. According to this, these words, man, you got to take heed and you have to practice this thing, man. With my whole heart have I sought thee, or let me not wander from thy commandments. And that's that's another scary thing. You don't want the Lord to, to spew you out and, and put you back in the world. You are here just being a brute beast, a lawless creature. Do as thou will, spirit. As you can see around you, as you go to work or whatever you do, go to the gym. If you go to a bar, go shoot some pool. You surrounded by beasts, lead creatures, man. You know, with this whole sodomite culture, LGBTQ, what XYZ culture, man. This is insane, man. You understand? So yeah, this is how you clean your ways, man. All right, you have the dietary laws you have to follow. All right, you have to keep a beard on your face. You got to get circumcised. Okay, you have to uh, practice the high holy days, especially the uh, Shabbat and the Pesach. Be not a hypocrite, be not a liar. Things of that nature I'm going to get into, man. Okay, so you want to come in this thing, not be one of them type of individuals want to uh, know all these precepts, but your inner man is, is filthy. You're a filthy animal, man. It doesn't matter how many precepts, the Hebrew, none of that. It's about, it's about cleansing your ways, man. Okay. Psalms uh, chapter uh, 19, verse 7. It says, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So the ways of the Most High converts you unto, under, under his guidance, man, under the Holy Spirit. The testimony of Yahweh is sure, making the wise... The simple. Okay. It says the statue of the Lord are right. Rejoice in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure. Enlightening the eyes. So this truth enlightens you. You become illuminated. The fear of the Lord is clean. Enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. The Lord does not make any mistakes, man. 
even though some situation like, man, you know, you go through that, man. You're like, damn, why did I do that, man? Why did you, you know, more to be desired are they than gold? Yea, than much fine gold. So the people in this world that's chasing the money, holes and clothes, they're empty. They're empty inside, man. They don't have a, 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 a spiritual um, bond with the how about Shimei was shot with the truth. So they, they have no hope. They're messed up in the mind, man. Sweeter also than honey in the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant mourned. In keeping of them, there is great reward. This is how we get warned, man. The, this life has, has rules and regulations, man. And I never knew that till I found this truth. You know, you have different street codes and all that. That ain't shit. Compared to the laws and regulations of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And if you break certain laws, you, you ain't coming back, man. You see? The Lord just might leave you out there to be to be lie, I mean to be to get killed, man. Alright? So by these laws and commandments, this is how we get mourned, man. You know, the like like your father grew up with your parents, they warn you. If you don't do this. Like my father, when my father used to come around, he used to warn me, listen, son, you know, you got that um, Caribbean accent. You don't do this. You do that. I'm going to bust your ass. All right. You think he's a big man? If you don't do what I tell him, I'm going to bust your tail. So you, you're like, oh, shit. And that's how the Lord deals you in the scriptures, man. Taking heed. If you don't do these certain things, man, you will be destroyed. Yahweh Shai said, I'm going to spew you out my mouth, man. Okay, so you got to cleanse your ways, man. That's one of the, the main things you have to do in this truth is to cleanse your ways. Then you get the, you know, the breakdowns and all that. It clings to you easy. You know, you got to cleanse your ways, man. You got to be an upright individual in this, in this knowledge, man. All right. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse 17. It says. Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. And that's what the picture I showed you. All right. And that's funny how, you know, the soil and the plant. All right. That's spiritual right there. All right. Therefore, if any be in Yahweh Shai, he's a new creature. All right. All old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So that old man, the old way of living and thinking and and um where you conduct yourself, you gotta let all that, that madness go. You, even the way you speak, the way you deal with people, that, that changes, man. Your mind state changes. And that's facts, man. So you gotta get rid of that old nigger mentality. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna go through some examples real quick. This is all uh, Ephesians chapter four, verse 22 on down. And it says that he put off the, the uh, that he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, deceitful desires, man. And that's what this word producing you in your mind, deceitful desires. That's what the word lust means. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You got to have a new way of thinking. A new way of conducting yourself. Under the guidance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We have the blueprint. That he put on the new man. And that takes discipline. You got to practice man. Which is after the Mosai. Is created in righteousness and true holiness. Now here's some examples. Wherefore putting away a lion. All right, Jake, still be lying, man. Stop lying, man. Speak every man truth with his neighbor, and neighbor is your brother. For we are members of one of another, man. So I feel like a brother lying to me. You're pretty much offending me, man. Like, what the hell, bro? Now, granted, you know, sir, not every brother is a brother, so I'll be straightforward with, the, with your fellow comrade, man. Like, yo, man. And if the situation real messed up, put your head down, man, so we could have some mercy on you. Like, goddamn. 
Jake still have that old man spirit on him. Like you're not gonna make make mistakes. Was a trust in the Lord, man. P Jake keep forgetting the Lord is merciful, man. Mosai is merciful, whatever. Okay, so if you do tell the truth, and the judgment is harsh, then so be it. Still thank the Mosai, man. I still believe, man. You still the prince of the power, man. You know. It says, be angry and sin not. So sin is what? Breaking the law, statute, commandments out here. So you be angry out here, man. You better not go committing that sin. The Lord is going to give you over to Esau. You're going to get locked up. Whatever the hell is going to happen to you. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the, to the devil. So you can't let Satan, which the battle is in your mind, totally mess you up and you do crazy stuff, man. And it happens, man. You get overindulging alcohol and you got some, some stuff suppressed in you that you're dealing with and you just you just lose it. They happen to me. That's what I'm speaking. They're like, damn, man, what the fuck was I thinking? So you, you got to, you know, constantly dwell on this type of spirit, man. Can't let Satan get the best of you. So it takes discipl discipline. And discipline is, is come. It comes by being a soldier in this thing, man. All right. Putting away your pride, your ego. All right. Let's say you're going to let somebody just run all over you. We ain't saying that, man. Got to be an upright individual, a respectable man, not being a carnal creature. So <clears throat> then you already know the laws and commandments, man. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. You know, things of that nature. Honor thy father and thy mother. All right. Things of that nature, man. Supposed to be hospitable when brothers come around. Yeah, man. Let's be a brother, man. Don't be a tyrant, you know, just sitting here trying to offend a brother. Because we all men. You understand? And you and you keep fucking around, bro. You're like, man, go fuck yourself, man. Oh, you know, but you don't want that, man. This is I'm close out with Colossians chapter 3, verse. 9 and 10, it says, Lie not one to another, seeing that he put off the old man with his deeds. All right? The Lord is big on man, big on that. Scripture says, Lying lips are an abomination. Put on a new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him, man. So we're trying to get under the banners of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of our ability. And you have to become a new creature. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's how you cleanse your ways. It's more scriptures I could add on, but to make it short and sweet. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakak with Dash and Lord Willings, edifying lesson unto the very elect. Shalom.